United States military corpse. Pull it over. Oh, I've got a guy hitting vehicles behind me. And far over to 20. It's a police vehicle, so uh, we're going onto the bridge right now, towards Cypress Point. Or on Lake Puerto. Above and above uh, Los Angeles. And for I'm hearing shots fired. Yep, you're right there. I'm we're running behind you. you. Right now. What I'm 12 dispatched. Do we have any uh, units anywhere in pursuit uh, over the Ellis uh, Bridge, whatever the fuck this thing's called? Uh, negative. Uh, 10 10 negative. 10 4. Oh, dang it. Minivan 1050. All right, well, uh, he is taking shots, but uh, let's see if we can get a plate, see what the vehicle comes back to before Whoa. we do anything, because this could be an out-of-jurisdiction vehicle, possibly. Uh, he's ramming into every car. Yeah, I see that. Oh, uh, permission geez. to pit one clear, because he's ramming every... Uh, negative, there's way too much traffic right now. He's ramming everything. Yeah. I'm going to try to get in front of him, if you can stay oh. behind him, and I'll see if we can possibly box him. He just uh, ran right into the wall. Uh, we're on Cypress Watch right now. Oh, I just got cut off. And I just passed him. He's right behind that truck. Box truck, right beside you, right beside you. He's shooting, he's shooting. Oh, he's out of the vehicle. Put your hands in the air right now. Oh, all the AI just go crazy whenever I have to shoot him. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to uh, He did shoot a uh, civilian. Mm -hmm. Oh! Jesus uh, fucking Christ! Whoa! That sounded like you're Asian there. God! Damn. Yeah, AI just killed everything. I'm about to say that a car just comes flying around him and oh, smashes into my gosh, car. My car's done. That was done. painful to hear. <laughs> uh, he killed like lady some that Dragon Ball kind of stuff right there. Holy cow! Oh my man. God. Oh! AI just rammed right in. Yeah, uh, this vehicle's empty. Did the like... guy in this one take off running, or...? Uh, he killed him. We can get medical. Well, where's the body, though? I don't see... Oh, it's under this trumpet that's over here. Oh, well... Alright, right, let's see if we can do anything about the traffic here. Um, if you can move your car and let cars go at least on the left side of this... Uh, I'm gonna move mine, too. Just so we can try to get traffic flowing a little bit here. The chrome it's not bit. so screwed up. And I just rammed the car on top of the body. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can move this one up a little bit. Uh, I'll try and get this chrome thick off the top of the body over here. Yeah, that doesn't look comfortable. Move this behind my car. You can kind of see his legs sticking out. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, now we're floating. That's. Legit. Hold on, I can. Uh, you want to ram me over? Try to help you out with that. Yep. See his legs sticking out there. I am floating on my screen. I don't know what. You... Here we go. That guy wants to fight somebody. That's great. Oh, okay. See, so there's his body. So what happened? You just got on scene. You started shooting the guy. Uh, yeah, he aimed the gun at me from what I saw. Uh, the, oh, okay. Uh, well, then, yes. Guys. But, I did shoot him. Yeah, this guy's... This guy. He yanked this guy out of the car. Holy crap. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. I don't think you thought that one through, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> Someone with what a pistol. Have we done? Uh, and, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, but it's... The guy in a white shirt has a pistol, there's some guy in a floral shirt, so you guys could just deal with that, maybe? Uh, what's your, uh, location of this? It's oh, right by, it's like, right on the other side of the street of where these officers pulled some guy in a business shirt over across, uh, like, it's right behind uh, that gas station place, a street over, so. Gas station place? Well, okay, Alright, well, I gotta go, because they might see us, and the white guy, the white, the guy in the white t-shirt has the, uh, the gun, not the guy in the floral shirt. Uh, there should be a car, but all right, I gotta go. But see you guys. Uh, okay, thank you for the call. All right, I think I know uh, where they Who were describing. People. Who is that up there? Is someone have the phone? Hey, you, get off the phone. Yeah, that's right. You better run away. All right, where were we, Melvis? 
Oh shit, I gotta run. Oh! Whoa. I'll try to go around the other side and cut him off. I have one running foot pursuit right now. Looks like a white male uh, striped shirt in the parking lot, in the parking lot. Went through the uh, car wash. Are you still on foot? What the fuck? How did I lose eyes? I lost eyes in this area. <laughs> I had to mute my mic because uh, there's somebody mowing the grass next door, but uh, he went up there uh, on top of the car wash. I can't follow him. I can't get up oh, there. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I have to circle around. Uh, he, the guy that he uh, punched is dead, so that was murder. Oh, okay. Are you on top or is that him suicide. on top? suicide. Uh, I'm not on top. No, I'm. That part, I just saw him back on top in that parking lot. Yeah, I see him. I got eyes. I'm Looks looking like at suicide, yo. Possibly. Where is he? If at? you guys, um, if you guys come after me, it's over. I'm dying. Turns on PA. What's going on, man? Why are you up there? It's not worth it. You turned on the lights. I didn't get the drugs I wanted. I had to hit the guy up, literally. And then you guys came after, and I saw a taser prong, but it missed me. Why, man? Why? It's not worth it. Ugh. Come on. What's your guns' uh, location? Uh, he's right on, like, just behind the uh, gas station on the roof. Yeah, I see him. Man, I, I'm, I'm gonna do it, man, because there's, like, nothing left to live for. You guys Hold on, man. Calm, calm down. So, what was the issue? I couldn't hear you. I was in my vehicle. I just wanted some drugs, and uh, I punched up and hit up the guy, and then I ran away. I saw someone try to tase me, and then I got scared, so I ran away from you, full throttle speed. And uh, now I'm up here, and I'm actually not regretting my decision. You see, I'll end up like that woman right by that officer over there, or that male, whatever that is. Okay, so uh, is there anything we can do to get you to come down? Yeah, how about go away? Go away? We can work something out with that. Uh, so... Do you have any weapons on you, though? No, I don't. Not at all. No knives, no guns, no bombs, no nothing? Nope. The only thing in this duffel bag is just a pipe wrench when I needed to uh, unclog the sewers, because that's what I work for. Got all this mud all over my shirt. This oil and stuff. All right, you want to stay there for a second while I talk to the other officer, and we'll see if we can work something out for you. I lost eyes on him. Oh, uh, yeah, he went back. Hey man, if you can hear me, come back over to the side so we can see where you're at. You wanna run around to the back? And, oh, there, there, right there he is. Oh uh, yeah, I'll stay back here, I guess. Yeah, stay in that area. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can work something out with them. Oh, we can talk over the radio. Here, okay, it's not gonna help. No, we're we're not sending anyone up. Uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna clear out of this area. All right, as long as you have no guns on you, no knives on you. Um, what was your name? Uh, I'll answer that question as soon as you tell me where that other guy went with the white car. Where uh, did he, he had to respond go? to a pursuit. Uh, okay. I didn't hear any sirens, but okay, whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's it's Thomas. My name's just Thomas. And it's just hey, Thomas. Corners. You're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Just Thomas. Okay. Um. So, <clears throat> like I said, we're both gonna clear out of here. Uh. And uh, you can how be on your now? way, however, you're, you're going to come down? No, how about you guys clear out now if you want me to come down quicker? I'm paranoid as hell well, right now. I think I hear something. Yeah, you know, I understand that, but uh, you have to understand it from our point of view. We roll up, uh, you have a duffel bag on, and we see all this kind of stuff. Uh, and we see you punch a guy, so we're kind of limited in what we can do here. Okay. So you understand that? Yeah, I understand. You're scared, just like I am. Okay. It, well, to a degree, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, so this is what's going to happen. Uh, it is possible that you will be back in custody when you do come down, uh, if any of the other officers see you. But uh, I'm pretty sure you're well aware of that, right? Oh, yeah, but there better not be anyone coming up. No, I don't believe there is anyone coming up. You know, I don't understand about you guys. You guys say you want me to come down, but it's just to put you guys in, just to put me in cuffs. Like, do you guys want me, your quota to get achieved faster? Like, what's the deal? It's you guys got are... nothing, got nothing to do with the quota. 
Uh, it's the fact that we witnessed you assault somebody. And we were called out to a drug deal. He deserved uh, which it. He is... scammed me. Well, you, irregardless, you can't just start punching people. Well, I ended it, didn't I? So I, I think I've... Well, why didn't you just walk over to us when we came over and say, Hey, this guy scammed me. Because it's drugs, and you guys would not take that lightly. Yeah, as long as you didn't have any drugs on you. You probably would have no, just gotten a citation for being at the scene. Okay, you I'm gonna grab you by the station. shirt. Okay, I've got oh him. God. I've got him. I, I had you by the shirt. Jesus Christ. Oh, he fell onto the gas station. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I've got him. <laughs> okay, uh, cough, cough. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn, that was this fucking is your good. Fault. That scared How the shit out of me. How are we gonna get down here now? You see, I knew a place that had a ladder. Now there's no ladder here. Now you're gonna- You're gonna get sued if I die. If um, I hurt. no, we have fire trucks yeah. or you. Oh, please. They don't have uh, If you go over to the right, you should be able to go down somewhere. Go over to the right and jump that fence if you can. Oh, yeah. Follow me, sir. Well, my right. Your left. Hold on. Before we go down, I want to I wanna, I wanna talk to this guy out here for... I thought you said you no one was going to be coming up. Okay, I've got... I'm going to grab Must you by... Must have been on different frequencies, man. Sure. I'm going to grab you by your Sorry? Shirt. We must have been on different frequencies. I didn't hear that he was going up. Oh, bullshit. Okay. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go down. Is there a way to cross here? over on that side? If so, I'll uh, kind of go over to the other side. We can, we can, yeah, it'll be a smooth landing. Eh, yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, follow yeah. me, sir. Follow me. Okay, uh, do you want to come over here and talk to him since I wasn't really in this? Well, okay. no, you guys lied to me three times. Hold on, man. Hold on. Stop walking or you're going to get tased again. Oh, I yeah. thought he was following me. Like, he's kind of got his hand no, on no. my handcuffs. Alright, uh, so... What, what, what happened? Because we got on scene. We're, we still don't understand the whole situation. We got on scene. We see some guy uh, punch another guy and then take off running through a back alley. Can I go, can That's we go all under we some see. kind of tarp? It's kind of raining and it's, my hair gel is getting out of... Hey, you uh, wanted to go on the roof. This is what oh, you get. We could have oh, got no. on scene, we could have went over there, we could have talked, you could have sat in the back of the police car for a few seconds, and you probably would have got a citation and left. But you turned it Three into... Words. Evading. Drugs, scam, suicide. I understand that, however, we need to understand the whole situation, so... Uh, you want to tell us what happened from your point of view? Up until the moment I that we got did. on scene? I, I drove in my exemplar, I went up to the guy, and then some idiot called 911, which is why you guys showed up. I'm like, oh shit, because I saw him. I, I don't have a gun. I just have a pipe wrench because, I, like I said, I work in the sewers. But someone called 911, and I give him an evil look behind these glasses of mine. They ran away. So you guys show up. I punched the guy because he didn't give me what I needed in a matter of time. He said he would have gotten it to me as soon as I showed up. I've been here for like 20 minutes. I ran away. You guys showed up. One of them tried to tase me. I bet it was probably you because you like to lie a lot. And, uh... I basically ran from there. I hauled ass, ass and elbows, and I was out until I came on the roof and I wanted to commit suicide and you guys stopped me. So, back to the moment where you punched the guy. Uh, did you punch him before or after you noticed we were showing up lights and siren? Uh, it was about mutual. Same time, pretty much. Cause Same time? It was ridiculous. Uh, so, what I'm trying to get at here is did you punch him because the police were showing up and you wanted to get away? And you wanted to leave him there so no, that No, I punched would him, him because it's what he deserved. I ran because the police saw it and I wanted to get away. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so what kind of drugs was the uh, deal in relation to? Uh, PCP, yeah, methamphetamine, all that good stuff. PCP mostly. Okay. Uh, so were you selling or were you buying them? I'm assuming you were buying because you said them. you didn't have any drugs. Because the guy with okay. the white t-shirt, he had a gun and I punched it so I in self-defense. I punched it so he couldn't kill me. Because I know he scared oh, me. Oh, now you're claiming self-defense. I mean, yeah. a little late for that. Okay, I'll be honest with you right now. I'm sorry. I, I mean, if we, if you guys would have responded like one second earlier, we probably could have handled this entire thing out. I wouldn't have punched the guy, and you guys could have just dealt with it from there and get him in the custody. I could got some, but that's only if your response time was better. But no, you guys suck. The police sucks. Okay. Yeah. Well, we had to respond all the way from a different part of the city. Um, well, that's so, your problem. Yeah. Exactly. That's my problem and not yours. So I don't know why you're complaining about it, especially since you were the one that was called on. Um, here. Yeah. Well, I mean, now you're going to jail seen. for at least running an assault, yeah, depending on the condition anyway. of the guy. If we would, if I would have just stayed at that scene, I would have still. If you guys would let me go, I would have killed the 911 caller anyway. 
because I know exactly what he looked like. Okay. Uh, so how much, or did you did you actually make the transaction where you handed him the money and he didn't no, hand he you the drugs? Me. Is that what happened? Dude, he scammed yes. me. You hear me? Yes, but you got to describe what that is. Is that you gave him the money, he didn't give you the drugs, or is that just you got there and he uh, uh, didn't want to do the deal at all? I'll let you in on a little secret. That deal was something between us for years. We've been organizing this uh, for quite some time. That's that's fine. I just want to understand the situation here. Who gave? Like, did you actually give him the money yet, or do you sell the money on you, the full amount? <sighs> he took my money, and he never gave me the drugs. Okay, that's that's exactly oh what I was God. asking. You want to see you there, buddy? You okay? Sorry. Wow. Okay, uh, so how much money did you give him in exchange for him how much drugs? I gave him about $500, 25 cents. Okay, and what was that in exchange for? Uh, three ounces of crack. Very big ripoff, but I need it anyway. I'm desperate. And was that personal use or was that for sale? It's for personal use. Medication. I, I probably should have my prescription as well. Didn't bring it. Okay. Um, so, I'm gonna hold on here for a second. If you want, you can sit down on that uh, brick kind of fence thing behind you. Um, I'm just gonna talk with this other officer really quick. My handcuffs hey, are a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's great for you. Did you no, search I mean, him at all? Like, seriously, uh, my no. About to get cut off. I did say he had something in his hand whenever I went to tase him earlier. Well, yeah, he said he had a pipe wrench or something like that. Um, we'll see. I'm going to turn him around and say that we're going to be loosening the cuffs at the same time. You can go ahead and uh, search that bag if you want, see if you can okay. see anything in there. Just be careful. I'd use gloves if I were you since he didn't say it was drug related. Okay. All right, man. You want to step more towards the middle of the sidewalk? I'm just going to throw this back in my car really quick. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just going to loosen these cuffs on you a little bit if you want to keep facing the road. That'd be great. Uh -huh. Yeah. Keep facing the road. Okay. Oh, I can't escape. Damn it. Ugh. There you go. A little bit looser for you. Feels okay. Feels just like five years ago. Alright, uh, did you see anything in there? Or? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of baggies. They look to be empty. Alright, you want to take off this, uh, I'm just going to take this off of you. If you can just keep your arm still. What is it? Mm, no, I'm going to take the bag off you. I, I don't have a parachute, I can't take it off. I wish I could. I need a oh, parachute. Alright, well, we'll just leave it on you then for now, uh, since it seems to be almost sewn to your shirt, which, I mean, I don't know do what you want to do with your clothing, I guess, but, uh, Super glue and eagle thing. No, okay. okay. Um, um, I'll just search it from. What right. I'm seeing. Well, what we're seeing so far, at least by the looks of it, what this other officer is seeing is individually bagged stuff. I don't know if there's anything in the bags or if it's just individual baggies. Uh, but if you were just buying that small amount of uh, of drugs, why would you need such a big bag on you? Because it makes me look cool. And you know what happened when you know what they say about big sizes. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so it, just that and then the baggied uh, items in the back, what are those? Uh, the baggies are empty. Okay. So what are the baggies for then? Just to make you look cool too? Yeah. It's all about yeah. looking cool nowadays. It's 2019, right. it's time to look cool. Okay, um, so at this point you are going to be under arrest for uh, evading on foot, so it's not going to be a felony, it's just going to be a misdemeanor. Um, assaults on the individual, which based on his condition will kind of detail the level of crime. Uh, and then you climbed onto the roof there and you said you wanted to commit suicide, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you're going to be medically cleared before we do anything anyways, um, at least a psych eval. Uh, which will kind of determine where you go from there. Um, I took too much ibuprofen yesterday. Okay. You're also going to be charged with possession. Um, did you see any residue in the individual baggies, or is that just uh, just completely um, empty? They're stapled together, so, so there's nothing in them. I okay. run a very because if there was any residue, we could have charged him with uh, possession with intent to distribute. Okay. Have you had anything today, recently? 
ibuprofen, Lyrica. Anything other than that? Lyrica. Okay, mm is that it, or have you had any actual like hardcore drugs? Because no, nope. I haven't had a really single drug today. You see, it's already freaking. It's been almost 24 hours since we've been doing this, and I'm getting really tired of standing up here. It's been 24 yeah, well, hours almost. It's daytime. We're, I can guarantee you, we're more tired than you. We're wearing body armor. We're wearing full gear. I'm wearing a fucking 500,000, whatever pound duffel bag on me. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Um, so, other than that, again, you've had no other drugs. Nope. I'm just trying to figure know. out for for your safety if we need to get you uh, checked for that as well, or if it's just a medical uh, or sorry, it's, mental. Check. I just need a break, officer. Okay. Well, we'll try to work uh. something out with you. Um, if you want, you can go and kind of sit next to my police car over there. Well, uh, I check one more thing. Okay. Um, so we're gonna get a medical cleared before we do anything, just because he did claim that he wanted to uh, commit suicide. Um, so pretty much all we're gonna charge him with is, like I said, just the assaults, uh, the fleeing on foot, um, and uh, I mean we could get him with trespassing on top of the building, but I don't think that's really necessary to add to it since it's not really anything. Um, did he assault you at all when he was up there, or was it just kind of a calm down and let you do what you were gonna do? Uh, well, we kind of uh, both fell onto the uh, top of the gas station over there. Well, you said you grabbed him and then he jumped off pulling you with him, right? Yeah, that's what happened, so... I got yeah. scared! No one asked you. Okay, here. That's what happened. Alright. Well, yeah, I'll, uh... I'll go ask him a question, then we'll see if we're gonna do anything about that, then. Alright, man, you said you got scared when he grabbed onto your neck? Yes. I did, calling? because I'm not so... I, you, you, I was... I was comfortable with you. I actually wasn't gonna commit suicide because of you. You actually helped me. I was gonna probably come down there if you would have just left. But you lied. This is your fault. You lied. You s And uh, it scared me because there's someone pulling at my neck. I don't know if it's a hostile or the police are trying to help me. I jumped because I got scared because you said there's no one going upstairs. And sure enough, there's some officer. I, you, you lied to me. And there's some officer up there who just tried to pull me back. But I jumped forward because I got scared. I thought maybe one of his mob gangs tried to get me back. I don't, I, I don't know. I got scared, man. And you can't do that shit to me. Okay. I told you I'm paranoid. Uh, you heard me up there. Clearly. Uh, I want to hold on here one second. When you went up there uh, to grab onto him, did you announce that you were law enforcement or anything like that? I'm just trying to figure out if we're going to charge him with uh, assault Oh no, I officer. didn't announce anything. I just tried to stop him from killing himself. Okay. Um, yeah, based on that then, I don't think we're going to charge him with it. Uh, I mean, you were trying to help him and everything, but uh, like he could have thought it was something and else based on the situation him. anyways. So. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we'll just charge him with the stuff that we said before, um, and we will definitely get him medically cleared based on that as well. That's a good idea. So. All right, man, so you're lucky. Uh, we're not going to be charging you with assault on an officer or anything like that, since, again, he was just trying to help you out, um, and he didn't want you to harm yourself. Uh, but yeah, you're definitely going to be charged with possession. Um, you're not going to be charged with intent to distribute based on the baggies, uh, so you're getting a break with that. You're also going to be getting the assaults and uh, clean on foot. So, not too bad, uh, based on the situation. Okay. First order okay. of business is for me to sleep inside jail. Well, we're going to get you to the hospital first, and they're going to do some tests on you, and then from there we'll decide if we're going to take you to the uh, normal jail or not. Yeah, well, while you're getting me to the hospital, you need to take Grandma, dead Grandma, over here to the morgue. Cause she's yeah, well, I have no idea what happened with her, but... Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, well, you're good to go. We're going to be transporting you now. Uh, if you want, you can have a nap now. And uh, once EMS gets here, they'll take you away. Yeah, the bed bugs are going to be biting tonight. Well, that went well. Is the uh, other individual that we were with still back on that other side there? Or did they all despawn? Um... He's probably got scared. He died. So, uh, oh, he's yeah, still here. Right. He's still standing. Holy he's, shit! Yeah, he's okay. still leaning up against the wall. He, or, well, not on my screen, but we'll see yeah. if he has anything on him. Oh, it's a lady. He said it was like a very large sum of money. So, it's a lady. Yeah. How much? 
Is it a lady on your screen too? Yeah. Like amazing. She looks happy. She looks so peaceful sleeping there on my screen. What the fuck? Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, she has a large sum of money on her, so. And she actually doesn't have any drugs on her, which is strange. So it does seem to kind of fit his story there of uh, somebody just trying to completely rip her off. Or sorry, uh -huh. rip him off. Um, so yeah. Yep, yeah, so. Get uh. Carter down here to take her out, but honestly, at least on my screen here, when I look at her face, she just looks like she's sleeping there so peacefully. That's great. Just kidding.